Okay, Coach Webb, I just I got a question for you. I'm from Tampa, Florida. You live in the Columbus area now? Yeah, I live in Columbus. Have you been to Tampa, Florida lately? Oh man, I go several times a year. It's so nice. I go down in December with my parents in Fort Myers, which is only a couple hours south of you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd ever come back up here if that's where I was from. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I could take a hurricane here and there. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's great up here. I mean, I love home. Home is... Is definitely, but I get to go down there a lot quite often, and um, you know, really months at a time, my job allows me to go down there, so I feel like I got the best of both worlds. All right, what brought you up to Ohio? Uh, Ohio State. So I right. Ohio State to play football with these guys. And, uh, were you on the 97, 96 Rose Bowl team? No, I came to Europe, 97. 97, yep. okay, so you are on the year after that. Yep. And then, so you were, were you the bridge between Cooper and uh, Coach Trussell? Were you no, no, just no. I was all John Cooper, and then right after us, they gave him the... Uh, just missed him. Just missed him, yeah. Cooper's a good guy. Cooper's a good guy. He's a yeah. Southern guy. So. He's a recruiter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. He's a recruiter. Yep. That's what Coach Jackson said. He's a really good recruiter. Um, a lot of former Buckeyes on the, on the sidelines here mm -hmm. for Westerville. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Summit place? No, I'm the only one that didn't have a Are Summit place. Are you serious? Place. Yeah. So you're not, like, emotionally super invested like I, all the... I keep, I keep the dads balanced. <laughs> so you're the barometer that keeps, yes. keeps the BP, the blood pressure low. Yes, yes, yes. How, how do you do that? Some of them get uh, get pretty charged up, yeah? Yeah, get charged up back. <laughs> so when you look at that and you're able to kind of be the voice of reason sometimes when their kids maybe make a mistake or something like that, is it easy to go up and talk to these guys? You're all former Buckeyes. You can talk to one another, and it's it's easy to calm them down. Are you, are you able to do that? It is. We all, you know, coming up here and playing in college, going from, let's say, boys to men, we all ate the same food psychologically. So we're pretty similar in the way that we see and view things. So it's not really so much that I have to marry some of the kids. It's a lot of times when you're a dad, you don't want to keep going because you got to go home and be dad and turn off the coach. So it's more like getting for me so I don't have to keep getting him. And so that's how that works. Um, even if it's pumping them up, you know, it's you hear it from dad that one thing, but you hear it from Coach Webb, you know, it's nothing. That's why Beanie's on here joking saying I took his kids because That was cool. Yeah, yeah, those are my boys. That's cool. Those are my boys. I can squeeze a little something different, a little more out of them. Cause they hear from dad all the time. But me, I get them two hours a day. Um, they love me. They respect me. I love them, you know, and respect them. And um, it's great. It's fun. Yeah. Football is the vehicle that's completely changed your life. You leave Florida, come up to Ohio. You're insane for staying with the weather. But anyhow, <laughs> besides that, I and mean, it changed your life. It changed my you life. You are here because of it. Correct. And uh, the biggest thing is football ends. It eventually mm -hmm. ends. And the, how do you impart to the kids that there's life after football and use this as a vehicle like I used it to change your life for the better? Mm -hmm. I think it's not so much while you're playing it you got to be thinking about the end you know you, the the days and i think more when we played it before that all eggs in one basket those days are over um a lot of these kids are very smart and talented in so many things there is no need or to put all your eggs in one basket let's be talented let's be focused in what you're doing but as soon as that over you turn the page and you get good at whatever else you're doing but i tell them i only want two hours a day after after we get done with practice or a game you know go into whatever it is you want to do did you ever have the as a kid growing up in tampa did you have the all eggs and eggs in one basket mentality was that yours at all you know it was pushed and i can honestly say that um I probably did for a fight, but the, the business of football, meaning, you know, what was going on behind the scenes, that interests me um, just as much. So when I was growing up, like one of my main things, I wanted to be a general manager of an NFL football team. And so, um, you know, I was always trying to figure out. I remember at their age, me and my brother, we were running mock drafts. Like, really, like putting up stickers on the wall, doing the full thing. Really? Like when we were seven or Yeah. Yeah, we were like Mel Kuyper before Mel Kuyper. I love it. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It was, it was. It was fun. What do you do now for a living? I'm actually an NFL sports agent. So that's what you do? Yes. Who you got under you right now? Yeah, no, you want to say yeah, okay. yeah, but, kind of, a lot of them don't even know it. Okay, so a lot of the kids don't even know that, but you're, you're, mm -hmm. you keep it low key. You mm -hmm. get to travel back and forth. Yes. Like Florida, Texas, California would yeah. be my three yeah, guesses. Everywhere, everywhere, yes. Right? Yes. New York, East yes, Coast, everywhere. right? Yes. You're, so you're traveling everywhere mm -hmm. trying to get guys deals. Mm hmm. It's really hard to get deals, and a lot of the money is uh, its not guaranteed to them. I don't think a lot of people realize that you got to play to get the money. Correct, correct. If you're hurt, you're not getting money. 
Right. Lives came out talking to Beanie. He had a uh, career ending. Yep. Multiple. I think Achilles was his. Yep. Right. Yep. Knee, I'm guessing yep. you've had some surgeries. Knees. Oh man, I had shoulder, back, both ankles. Yeah. <laughs> both knees. Yeah. How, how do you go in and fight for a guy to get a contract and you know that the next play, the next play could be it, right? You, you go take, in there and get the best I, contract you can. I take that responsibility of what you're saying, and we put that first. My job is to take care of you and your family. And I, I don't want you to leave out of this game with just memories. It is a business, and you got to set yourself up. You know, it's a short time that you can earn that, that really good money with the NFL money, and that's my responsibility is to make sure we capitalize that. It's not a, um, you know, I just try to remind them it's not about, you know, uh, my love and feelings about that. It's to keep focus on the business. Once we get that contract done in that business, then you can go and love and have fun and all of that. But um, I take it very serious to security guys' future. So because of the question you asked me, I know it's going to end, and I know the position that it can put them in for the long haul. You know, this business that I'm in, it can change generations, and it can give family generation wealth. So I make sure that I keep that responsibility very serious. I want to quote and say it was Shannon Sharp who said this, but you remember broke was the thing 20 years ago, oh, yeah. 15, yeah. 20 years ago. Yes. I live by Bernie Kozar. Mm -hmm. He's, he lives right down the road from me mm -hmm. um, in, in Joga uh, County, Ohio. Mm -hmm. they, they, there are people that get really bad people around them, and then yes. it, it goes away real quick. Yes. How do you, do you first of all, you make them watch broke. I, I would. <laughs> and, and was Shannon Sharp correct in saying that they're making generational wealth, to your point, Mm -hmm. Are they making generational wealth? Are they making so much money now that they can't go broke? Oh, no. I wish that was the case. No, guys can go broke, you know. Um, it's faster than you make it, you can spend it. I mean, people are coming up with different ways to uh, have you spend your money. Cars, vacations, I don't care what it is. Bad restaurant Food. deals. That, that seems and, to be and, the one. Everything. Restaurants are bad business. Yeah, record labels are horrible. <laughs> I mean, I could go down a line. I mean, a car is the worst investment you can make. Cars are a bad investment, you know. But I say this, um, you know, people are getting smarter and getting better people around them to kind of mitigate those mistakes. But it's a, um, it's a fight every day, you know. And um, it is a lot easier to make it than it is to maintain it. And you definitely need good people around you. And you have to be able to check yourself. I think that's the thing. Um, is, you know, whether it's a business deal, not to think that you know it all and then just do it, you know. Um, try to look at both sides of it, the ups and downs, the plus and minus, the potential risk, and uh, balance that stuff out to try to make the best decision you can. How high of a compliment today was it when CJ said you're his guy and his dad's a coach? And um, how high of a compliment? That was, that was good. That was good. That was very high. I love it. Yeah. All right, biggest thing uh, you want kids from Westerville, Columbus area to take from coming here to Sandusky and playing against statewide competition blind mm -hmm. because there's no video, no scouting. You don't know. It's out there. It's a blind game. There's yeah. no scouting. As you know, yeah. scouting is the biggest thing now. Yeah. Whenever you know what guys are doing. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. What do you want the kids to get out of this? Man, first I want to say it was a tremendous experience. And everything up here is first class. The facilities is first class. You know, the way that you and your staff run things, the sign-up process, everything's been first class and good. And I, I would highly recommend for anyone there to take that opportunity and that 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 unknown aspect you got to be up for the challenge if you like competing that's the purest form of competing you can get you don't know who you're playing or what they do but you need to focus on what you do and be good on what you do and then go out there and put it out there and um, I would tell everyone to come and do this tournament if you can um, it's been a great experience so far and we look to continue on until tomorrow are you tied to any of the Westerville schools, north, south, central? Um, CJ said he wants to go to south. Yeah. Jackson's like, nope, he's going to north, right? I mean, and then uh, Beanie was like, yeah, whatever, don't care. I, I just want the kid to have, be successful. I'm, right? I'm, I'm kind of with Beanie on that. I like them all. I think Westerville is a tremendous community. I don't, you know, I'm totally biased to it from just being in and the way they bring you in. And um, I don't think you can really go wrong. I think it's a bunch of good people, a bunch of good um, kids out there. And I just want all the kids to just, you know, enjoy life and where they are in life. Don't get too caught up into um, being an adult or thinking about college. Because a lot of them are putting a lot of that pressure on themselves. and say, no, no, you're in high school right now. Enjoy this. Live it to its fullest. And make your memories. And when you get old, broken up like me and my other coaches, you're going to... Those things become priceless.
You guys are all in great shape. Look at you guys in great shape. We're broken out. <laughs> hey, hey, we get reminded that often in practice. What was your last injury that ended things for you? And who were you with? What team were you with? Uh, really, with me, it was at Ohio State. I took a shot in the back. And, that was, and um, what was it? Yeah, it was, um, uh, I think I herniated like three discs. Uh, and um, that thing really, it, it, it never got back. And they, you know, they didn't want me to have surgery immediately. And they were like, rehab it. And, um, you know, we rehab, rehab. It never got too much better. And yeah. then I eventually had to have surgery. And that was, that was kind of the end of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ran, um, I was a little tough. I ran track and stuff. I continued on that. So, I love it. But, um, I'm a track guy. I love track. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love too. track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, it just was one of those things where, I mean, I, I just, I couldn't, you know, your body will tell you and you got to listen to it. So, and if you don't listen to it, it'll really tell you, like, hey, listen, <laughs> I gave you a lot, all right? <laughs> Let's do something. Let's take it easy on me. All right. I love it. Great talking to you. You got anything else for me? No, man. I just, man, I look forward to it coming back up here again. I wish we would have did it sooner. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward in this. It will essentially the semifinals in the second mm -hmm. game today. And then if you win, you're in the finals tomorrow. Yes. All right. Get it. All right. Thank you.